Hello my friends, my name is Tanya. Welcome to another video of the series Discover Your Creative Calling where we explore creative hobbies to sound out your passion. Today's video will help you choose a music instrument to learn. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, if you're worried about the price tag or your neighbors complaining about the noise as you're practicing, I will be sharing some alternatives on how to buy instruments and how to manage loud noise. And one, and two, and one, two, three, let's go! <laughs> Learning to play an instrument can be a transformative journey where you get to creatively express yourself via an instrument. But do not underestimate this hobby. It requires a lot of patience, dedication, practice before you see any satisfactory results. I personally have tried to learn the flute, electric drums, guitar, saxophone and the piano and I've given up on absolutely every single one of them. <laughs> okay I know what my creative hobbies are and what's most suited to me. Now here are some questions and factors that will help you choose the right music instrument for you. First, what type of music and genres do you typically like or would you like to play? When you know what you want to play you can then reverse engineer what kind of instruments are predominantly used in those genres hence you can choose the right instrument that fits that genre. For example if you like classical music you can choose a lot of instruments but maybe an electric guitar isn't the most common instrument. Or reverse then, if you like rock or heavy metal, you cannot go without an electric guitar. Maybe you like jazz, then you cannot do without a trumpet or a sexy saxophone. However, if you don't want to stick to one genre so early on, the most versatile instruments would have to be the piano or the acoustic guitar. The next factor would be your abilities and the difficulty of the instrument. In other words, how much effort are you willing to put? To learn an instrument, you will require a lot of practice and time and it will of course depend on the instrument that you choose and your own abilities and what comes naturally to you. You can learn some basics and start playing within a few months but to really master an instrument it can take years or even decades. A few factors that make up the difficulty of an instrument are the physical coordination, music theory and the physical endurance. As part of physical coordination, dexterity and fine motor skills, these are key parts of playing an instrument. For example, I find it super difficult uh, when you have to play different things at the same time with different limbs. For example, on the piano, the right hand and the left hand, they play different notes at different times and in different rhythms at the same time. On the drums then, you have one hand playing one rhythm, the other one playing at a slightly different rhythm, and then your feet as well, <laughs> they might be yet another different rhythm altogether. Or the guitar, even when my hand was fully stretched, these tiny little hands, it was almost impossible for me to get the right chords. And I'm also left-handed, so sometimes that can also cause um, you to learn stuff that is made for right-handed people. If you are serious about music, you will not be able to avoid music theory. Music theory is essentially the fundamentals of music that include the concepts of rhythm, melody, harmony, and also notation. I cannot read notes. My head got all messed up because when I studied in school in Panama, they taught me the do re mi system. And then later in Germany, they taught me the ABC format, <laughs> which messed up my mind. And now it just takes me forever to decipher what note is what and anyway you'd have to put in an effort to learn it. Another factor was the physical endurance. While it may look like musicians are only standing or sitting while they're playing the instrument uh, and moving the hands just a little bit, depending on the instrument there will be a lot of physical endurance. For example, do not underestimate brass and woodwind instruments where you use your breath to make a sound. The saxophone for example, you have to generate so much strength in your breath while adjusting your throat to make different sounds while you bite your lip on the tip of the instrument, which I forgot what it was called. At the same time, you're still trying to find the notes, the rhythm, that is a lot. I remember feeling like I had a cold with a sore throat after playing the saxophone for days after. Yet another great example I think are drummers. Here's an example. No words needed to say that that requires some physical endurance. The next point would be time and practice. So are you willing to carve out time to learn and practice? As a rule of thumb, it is said that you need about 10,000 hours to master anything. There's a book that I've linked in the description if you want to read it. So that would mean one hour of practice each day would take you 27 years to reach 10,000 hours. Practice two hours per day, it will be 17 years. If you learn 24-7 without sleeping or anything else, you will need about 417 
days <laughs> to master an instrument. This is not meant to scare you by any means. It's just an indication of the level of discipline and commitment that you need to play really, really well. You will of course play very well already before that, before reaching the 10,000 hours. Plus 10,000 hours is more about professional level or like mastering an instrument. Next one is, do you have a place to practice? Do you need an instrument to be portable? Some instruments are very heavy and also difficult to carry or require a lot of setup. You may practice at home, but if you're not, you need to either be able to store your instrument somewhere else or be able to carry it with you. Instruments that are hard to carry are traditional piano, the organ, concert harps, tubas, contrabass, persecution instruments like drum sets and marimbas to mention a few. You will of course also need the motivation, purpose and passion. Since you need a lot of discipline and commitment, you need to be fueled with motivation and passion. So ask yourself, why do you want to learn an instrument? What will keep you going when it gets tough or repetitive? Having a goal beyond just learning to play an instrument can help your motivation. A few examples. Is there maybe an amazing, super complicated song you love and that's your goal, that's what you want to be able to play? Or do you want to create your own band with your friends and have a bit of social fun around and play an instrument as well? Or maybe one day you would like to play at your local bar or, or at a community event or family gathering. Do you want to impress a special someone? <laughs> Whatever it is, write it down so that when it gets challenging, you remind yourself why you are doing this. There are instruments that are easier to learn than others, but I firmly believe that choosing an instrument only based on how easy it is, it's not going to keep you motivated. For example, the triangle is one of the easiest instruments to learn. Will it satisfy you? One week of playing the triangle. Yeah. I mean this with no disrespect to anybody that plays the triangle, but typically people that learn to play the triangle also play another instrument. Consider also what feels natural to you. It could be worth listening to your gut and going with the instrument that resonates most with you. It could be the instrument that you find the coolest or your favorite celebrity plays it, or it just feels right when you're holding it. Sometimes we already know what's right for us, but we don't choose it out of fear. So if you need more encouragement, I'm telling you, Do it. you have my blessing you can do it. Now that we know how to choose the instruments, let's go through a high level list of music instruments. I've grouped them into categories because there's way too many to list and uh, I'll be sharing a few examples about them. The first ones are string instruments. These are instruments like the guitar, the violin, harp, mandolin. The purpose of them is to provide melody, harmony and texture to music. They can be placed both solo or in an ensemble. Here is an example of a guitar solo. Next are woodwind instruments. These are instruments like the flute, the saxophone and the bassoon. Their purpose is to add color and melody and texture to music. They add that pizzazz due to their expressive and dynamic nature. They can be played both solo and in ensembles as well. And here's an iconic example of a saxophone solo. Next are brass instruments. These are instruments like the trumpet, the trombone, and the tuba. A lot of teas. Brass instruments play rhythmic patterns and melodies, adding drama through the powerful and resonant tones. They also add warmth and depth to compositions, and they can project over really large ensembles and also outdoor settings. You might wonder what is the difference between woodwind and brass instruments. The key differences are they are made out of different materials. So the woodwind instruments are made up typically out of wood or metal, with the exception of the saxophone that is made out of brass. Well, well, brass instruments are made out of metal or brass. Another difference is the airflow in the instrument. Brass instruments use valves to direct the airflow, while woodwind instruments, they have keys along the body that change the airflow. And with all that, the tone changes. Here's a timeless example of brass instruments. Next is percussion instruments. Our instruments like the drums, the conga and the xylophone. 
Percussion instruments provide the rhythm, speed, and accentuation in music. They create rhythmic patterns and grooves to the energy and excitement of compositions. Here's an example of a song where you can really feel the drums creating that rhythm and making it feel as if the song is speeding up. And if you're curious to learn more about the conga, check out my previous video about Cuba and congueros. Congueros are musicians that play the conga. Keyboard instruments are instruments like the piano, organ, and accordion. They create melody, harmony, rhythms, and textures, and they can be both in ensembles and also solo. Because of their versatility, they are great for sound and music production and are often used to compose. Here's an example of the accordion combined with video game music. Electronic instruments are then instruments like the electric guitar, electric bass, electric drums, samplers, MIDI controllers, and synthesizers. Electric instruments expand musical possibilities because they allow you to manipulate sounds through synthesis, sampling, sequencing, and other sound effects. They are fabulous to experiment with. Here's an example of Stevie Wonder using a Moog synthesizer and creating his absolute unique sound. Finally, there are many other instruments across the world that are more specific to folk music or music with cultural roots. For example, there is the Baron from Ireland, bagpipes from Scotland, castanets or castañuelas from Spain, didgeridoo from Australia, Ukulele from Hawaii, steel drums from Trinidad and Tobago, or the sitar from India. Just to name a few, these instruments come from a wide range of cultures, musical styles, and playing techniques, offering many more diverse avenues for expressing yourself. Since I live in Ireland, here's an example of the baron. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. to the bonus. So what are alternatives to buy an instrument and how can you control the noise? It can be quite expensive to buy your own instrument and very loud. So here are some alternatives so that you can start out. Did you know that you can make your own DIY instrument? <laughs> I found videos showing how to make anything from a mouth, harmonica out of popsicles, simple percussion, string or wind instruments from everyday materials. Making your own keyboard was a definite winner for me. I was so impressed with this guy that created his own piano from popsicles and he's even playing the Mortal Kombat theme, one of my favorites. Check it out. And you know what? These could be like double creative hobbies where you do some DIY and you learn to play an instrument. Now don't get me wrong, I know that you cannot fully replace a real instrument with a DIY one, but you can use it to test your discipline and passion before opening your wallet. Second option would be to rent it or borrow from friends, family, or maybe your local community. There may be a local music program that you can benefit from. You can also buy pre-owned or secondhand music instruments. Your local music shop might have them so check them out. Now to reduce the noise, consider getting an electronic music instrument instead that will allow you to plug in headset, for example, electric guitars, bass, electric keyboards, electric drums, electric violins, digital saxophones, all of those allow you to plug in a headset. Another option would be to soundproof your room. Nowadays, due to content creation, soundproofing your room with soundproofing acoustic foams has become widely available. This will reduce the amount of sound that traverses to other rooms and also to your 
your neighbor. There's also ways to hire rehearsal or practice rooms. So check out what's available in your area and have a look at what works with your budget and timetable. Maybe also consider practicing in a place where noise is not so much of an issue. Maybe you have an empty garage or a basement that naturally is more soundproof. Or maybe there is at school, university or work any facilities that you could use. For example, I used to work for Google and they actually have music rooms and I used to go there with friends and we used to like, you know, do jam sessions and stuff. So maybe you have something like that as well. Now, mastering an instrument is a complex and multifaceted endeavor that requires a combination of physical, cognitive and emotional skills along with dedication and perseverance. Make sure to check out the description. I've left tons of links there for you to check all the content that I've been sharing here with you. Oh, yeah.